And back after the acid wash, I'm just priming the pump, getting the pool running again. And I'm gonna add some conditioner, and shock the pool, and balance the pH right now. And you can see it's a little bit cloudy from all the soda ash that I had thrown in yesterday. They kind of neutralize any acid. Um, but you can see it looks really good. You can see from the steps here, it looks like a brand new pool basically. So it came out really good. And you can see the pH is pretty high, which is what it's expected with all that soda ash I put in the bottom when I refilled it. And there's no chlorine in the pool. So I'm gonna go ahead and shock the pool. I'm adding conditioner right now to the skimmer and I'm gonna let the pool run for 24 hours. So since you drained the water out of here, you, we took all the conditioner out also. So I'm recharging the conditioner level. And I'm going to let the pool run for 24 hours after I do this. That way it dissolves fully. We also want to do an alkalinity test just to make sure we're in range. And the alkalinity tested at 170 and that's to be expected uh, with the soda ash from the bottom. Plus the water in this area is a little alkaline. So I'm going to lower it with some, pe uh, with some acid right now and bring it down. And so I went ahead and shocked the pool. You can see the chlorine level is really high. Hopefully the conditioner will hold it uh, tomorrow and keep it at a decent level. The sun's going to burn a lot of this chlorine off today as the conditioner is moving through the system. But some of it will stick to the pool. And here's that same pool 48 hours after the acid wash see that it all cleared up and it looks like a pretty much brand new pool. Plaster looks immaculate. It's important to have the soda ash and the alkalinity up to adjust the um, chemistry of your pool. Soda ash you can use when the pH gets too low, alkalinity up is when the alkalinity gets too low. It will just the alkalinity and not the pH. And when you add soda ash, remember it raises both the pH and the alkalinity. Even though it's been 24 hours, it looks like it has some generic acid building up in there. And the alkalinity is still showing kind of high. I'm going to check it with the other test kit. And the alkalinity is still running a little high. It's about 160. And the pH is a little bit high. I'm going to add a little bit of acid. And the chlorine level is still high, which is really good. That means the conditioner actually kicked in and is protecting the chlorine from the sun.